Now, ladies and gentlemen, to the first of our company categories. This is a new category for companies at the start of their journey to success. It is the high-tech pre-commercialisation company of the year, proudly sponsored by the New Zealand Venture Investment Fund. Judges were very impressed with the high quality of candidates in this category. They were faced with a difficult selection process for several reasons. There was a wide spectrum of know-how and technologies, and there were significant differences in company maturity, even though they were all confirmed as pre-commercial. In addition, there were differing approaches to exploiting IP in a range of business models, and these range from deep science and detection instrument sales to fast-moving IT apps with patented digital design to an excellent web product for a specialty sector of business to business. To present the award, would you please welcome to the stage from NZVIF, Francesca Bangar. Our ladies and gentlemen, Orion Health, Zero, BookTrack, all past high-tech award winners and some of New Zealand's fastest growing companies all received early investment from the New Zealand Venture Investment Fund. NZVIF is the Crown's lead investment agency addressing the investment gap for New Zealand companies needing risk capital for growth. Since 2002, NZVIF has established numerous public-private investment partnerships and successfully catalyzed over $700 million of investment in 145 New Zealand technology companies. Thanks, Brett. <clears throat> well, we're all here to celebrate high-tech New Zealand companies, which is just fantastic. And I believe that most of us uh, have the view that high-tech companies, New Zealand high-tech companies, can make a really significant difference to the New Zealand economy going forward. But we also have quite a challenge. I've been involved, as, as Brett mentioned, in managing the New Zealand Venture Investment Fund for the last 11 and a half years. And over that time, uh, we have had the opportunity to invest in uh, nearly 150 companies. And our assessment is that to go from pre-commercialisation, this category that we're talking about here, through to global success, takes about $20 million. Now, some of you may say it's more, it's less, but let's just settle on $20 million. There are 48 companies here tonight represented, which is fantastic. That's uh, about a billion that we need. And our challenge, I believe, and, <clears throat> and I should also say that there are many more companies like this out in the New Zealand market. Fantastic. Past winners, future winners. Now, the challenge in this room is very simple, actually. Uh, the angel investors are doing a fantastic job in supporting companies early on, thank you. The government's doing a great job, and uh, the New Zealand Stock Exchange has uh, come to the party recently, in, um, and thanks Tim Bennett for that, too. Uh, but we've got a challenge right in the middle, and uh, we've got our institutional investors. So my challenge to you tonight, in, and the opportunity for those of you who are not already supporting these companies in some way or other, is I want you to, every time you have an opportunity, because there are 700 of you, I want you to talk to your brokers, to your KiwiSaver managers, and every other bank or advisor that you have the opportunity to influence, and say to them, are you investing in high-tech New Zealand companies? And if so, and if not, when are you going to start doing that? Because if we want these companies here tonight to go from start-up through to global success and have an impact on the New Zealand economy, we need their money too. Thank you. Thank you, Francesca. And ladies and gentlemen, the finalists in the pre-commercialisation category are, first of all, a company that designs automated technology and programs for biomechanical sizing, physiological testing, exercise and health prescription, coaching and training systems, performance lab technologies. Our next finalist has developed a fast demand response system that manages electricity demand and utilisation against centrally allocated targets, sensor grid. A company that designs innovative lighting combining renewable solar and the latest energy efficient LED technology, SolarBright. 
Our fourth finalist has developed a cloud-based appointment scheduling software that can be used across multiple devices seamlessly, timely. Our penultimate finalist in this category is a company who has developed their first iPad app called Toon Hero. It is Trigger Happy. And lastly, the creators of a tool that enables the non-contact detection of microorganisms in real time, such as the detection of bacteria on processing surfaces within meat processing plants, Veritide. And the winner is Trigger Happy. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the judges, the winner in this category was extremely creative in all senses of the word. They found that using characters from world leading companies and blending them with their own unique software enabled visual storytelling to be both easy and fun. Their management team were clearly a close knit team and highly experienced and their rapidly growing relationships with the likes of 20th Century Fox, National Geographic and Apple particularly impressed the judges. The winner of this category, and it looks like they're all here, trigger happy. Um, really unexpected. I didn't know if anyone really understood what we were doing. <laughs> we know what we're doing. Um, behind me stands um, my team and um, they're my co-founders, animators, engineers. Uh, our chairman is here tonight too. Um, we've talked a lot about inspiration tonight and I asked them all to come up on stage with me if we want it because they inspire me every day to be a, be a better CEO and without them, I don't know if I could have done this. In fact, I know I couldn't have done this. So, <laughs> um, There's a few people to thank, as there always are. Our investors, um, K1W1, JCOM, which is um, Joe Verrett and Andrew Clements, Dennis Jones, and Solution Access, which I didn't meet, and um, we closed that round over Skype in Hong Kong. <laughs> uh, MSI, now Callahan Innovation, um, in particular, uh, Joseph Stewart, you're amazing for believing in us, and Toby Litton, thank you. Um, for the founders, it's been a really tough year. Uh, it's been, we, we say it's been the best of time, times and the worst of times. We've, um, over the last year, we've um, raised a few rounds and, uh, and administered a great strategy um, but also, uh, there's been a bit of tragedy with um, our, um, Israel's beautiful wife was diagnosed with cancer uh, not long after we closed our first round, and so was our mother. And um, so, uh, thankfully, Jess, Jessica made it through, and we're really grateful for that. Um, four weeks before we closed our second round, our mother didn't. And so I hope this is a testament to say that I kept our promise to our mother. So thank you.